Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my loyal co-host Steady. And today I'm answering a question I see sometimes in my comment sections. And that is, why do people upgrade to high refresh rate monitors and like, is it worth it? And we're going to be featuring the BenQ Zowie XL2730, which is a 1440p 144Hz uh, monitor. So first of all, let's talk about basically what it does, what benefit it has over a standard 60Hz uh, display. Uh, the main benefit here is that you're just going to be able to see more frames, so it's going to make the experience a lot smoother. You're going to have a very smooth experience on your uh, high refresh rate monitor. The easiest way for you guys at home to basically see the difference if you're running a 60Hz display already is just go into Windows and set it to 30Hz, and then move around, maybe even play a game, and then set it back to 60Hz, and you'll, you'll notice straight away that huge difference. 60 hertz is going to seem way better than 30 hertz. And this continues as you go up. So if you have a 120 hertz display, for example, uh, it's going to feel way, way smoother and just a better experience overall than 60 hertz. So that's one of the reasons people go up. It just makes the experience better. This isn't something I can really show on camera. <laughs> As Frank rips into his scratch pole over there. Uh, this isn't something I can show on camera, unfortunately. But uh, because YouTube is limited to uh, 60 FPS, for one, and two, my camera only goes up to 24 hertz, so I can't really show, you, not show it to you that way either. But uh, if you go down to a local computer store, I'm sure that they would have at least one high refresh rate monitor set up, and you can go try it out there, maybe play a game on it. Even just moving around in Windows uh, or going on the internet, you will notice a difference there just by moving things around. And it really does take the experience to the next level. It is really, really nice. Now the next thing is that it gives you an advantage. And what I mean by that is in many FPS games, you'll find it easier to aim at things just because there's more frames there. Uh, it just makes it a little bit smoother. It's a bit you, you'll find you're a bit quicker to get your aim onto people, and also in driving games, you'll notice it's a little bit easier. It it feels a lot smoother, so you'll make your you know cornering better and things like that. I mean, this isn't going to be huge, guys. It's not going to you know take you from a noob to a pro, but uh, you will notice that it just makes it a little bit easier. You know, it gives you a slight edge there. It's not going to give you any big advantage, but there is a reason why. Many of these uh, gamers out there that take the FPS gaming very seriously all use higher refresh rate monitors, uh, like 120Hz and 144Hz monitors. So you will notice that. This is something I've noticed a lot as well, especially when I've been playing FPS games when using a uh, sniper rifle, like if I play Overwatch with Widow or just playing GTA and trying to get headshots with the pistol or something like that. Uh, you notice it's quite a bit easier to get them rather than if you were just gaming at uh, at 60 hertz. So that is another advantage there. And the third one is that a lot of these monitors are coming with FreeSync or G-Sync. And what that means is that not only are you getting these high refresh rates, but because of the FreeSync or G-Sync, which eliminates tearing uh, and also eliminates the stuttering you get from having V-Sync on, it means that you just get a very, very good experience. Like a even a 1080p 144Hz FreeSync monitor, that is going to be a very good gaming experience. No tearing, no stutters, uh, just very, very nice to game on. And something like what I've been testing, the uh, 1440p 144Hz uh, BenQ Zowie, that's been fantastic as well. Really, really nice there. And just sublime with FreeSync or G-Sync enabled. Now let's talk about some of the drawbacks. Now there isn't really any main ones, like I've never heard a single person say, oh, like I went to a 144Hz monitor, but it's, it was just so bad I went back to 60Hz. I have never heard that in the entire time I've been running this channel. Uh, so nobody's, nobody's saying that. It's more just sort of practical things, you know, realistic things in the real world. And the first one is price. So you're going to end up paying quite a bit more for your high refresh rate monitor than you would for, say, a standard 60Hz, 1080p, or 1440p display. Obviously, 
that's to be expected um, given the technology that's in them but uh, that is something you need to consider that when you go to upgrade at 1080p it won't be too bad with the 1440p ones they can start get quite, start getting quite expensive but you should be able to go up if you're at 1080p 60 hertz right now you should be able to upgrade up to a 1080p 120 hertz or 144 hertz monitor without too much difficulty in terms of price uh, it depends on where you live though the pricing seems all over the place when i was looking at it um, but here in new zealand generally it'll be about twice the price Eight of a 1080p 60 hertz monitor that's for a good 1080p uh, 144 hertz type monitor it'll be about double the price and that's something to keep in mind also if it's got free sync in it that probably won't add that much to the price but if it has g-sync because of the module required with g-sync uh, that will also add on to the cost and that will make it even more expensive so if you have an nvidia graphics card and you're going for a g-sync high refresh rate monitor that's also going to add on to the price even at the 1080p resolution and the second thing you need to consider is how powerful your system is. So I just put up my uh, best graphics cards of 2017 video. If you haven't watched it already, I'll leave it, I'll pin the comment uh, with the link uh, down below so you can go and check that out. But in that video, I went over you know the different resolutions, but also the different refresh rates. So for 1080p high refresh rate, you're probably going to be wanting to trend towards things like the RX 580 or the uh, GTX 1060. Those are a good one there because that'll do your Overwatch, Counter-Strike, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, all of that uh, with the frames up nice and high for you and uh, so you'll be able to take advantage of it because obviously you've got to get the frame rate up there or else there's no point. If your GPU can only push say 70 FPS, there's not going to be much point you running one of these high refresh rate monitors. So you've got to get the frames up there and at 1080p those graphics cards should be just fine Worst case scenario, you have to bump off the filters a little bit um, to help get the frame rate up there, but that's a trade I think most people would be willing to make. So that's the other factor you need to consider. Obviously, if you go up to 1440p, uh, 144Hz, like this XL2730, then you're going to need something even more powerful. I would suggest something like the Vega 56 or a GTX 1070 Ti, and that should give you the power available to get it up there as when I was testing it I was using the G1 Gaming GTX 1070 and that was good enough um, but I think that little bit extra power just would have made the experience just a little bit better so I would maybe trend towards something like the 1070 Ti or Vega 56 and that's another consideration you need to have. So yeah that's going to round out this video but I want to kick it to you guys. What monitor do, do you use? What monitor do you use? Do you use a 1080p 60Hz one? To use a 1440p, maybe 144 hertz one. I just want to see out, see which ones you guys are running, because this is something I talk about with a lot of people in the industry, and uh, loads of you guys are still running 1080p. But I want to know how many of you guys are running so like 1080p, 90 hertz, 120 hertz, 144 hertz. Just let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be very interested to know. I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already, and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.